Good morning everyone, I'm off to the farmer's market, it's like not even 9 o'clock, <sighs> this is really early for me, but I'm going because it's a must. It's been about almost 3 hours since I've been out, <sighs> I'm so tired, okay, grocery haul time. So the stuff you'll see, half of it was brought from the farmer's market, half of it was just brought from my local Sainsbury's. Unfortunately I can't go all organic and there are some things I have to buy for the entire family. But um, this is the kind of thing that I kind of, well yeah, we kind of genuinely buy. The one thing I forgot was eggs. I'm really cross because we only have four. And remember I was going on about the organic eggs thing, I just completely bypassed it. So we're just going to have to go without eggs for a while. Here we go organic tomatoes, fresh blueberries. I also have frozen ready packed um, fruit, probably not most economical but they were three for five pounds and this is a load of blueberries and two bags of mango. Um, we stock up on these chopped tomatoes in juice. The only thing that they have in them that I'm not very pleased about is citric acid but never mind. These are for things like chilies and stews and whatnot. Other things I always keep in our cupboards are beans. So I have black eyed beans and these are canned. I'm not very pleased that they're canned but no one has time to soak them these days. Bolotti beans and butter beans. I brought mackerel but this is a convenience food that I don't really eat. It's just for everyone else. Organic broccoli because I love broccoli. Red onion because I think this would definitely go well with the quinoa. Sweet corn, quinoa cob, great for a snack, shove them in the microwave. Packet of chicken breast fillets, they were on offer, feeds the whole family. And finally from Sainsbury's, organic skimmed milk and free range eggs, now I wish. Okay, things from the farmer's market that I was particularly pleased about. I brought from Chegworth Valley, um, they actually do home deliveries which I'm quite excited about. These are organic discovery apples. I only bought four to kind of have them. They're these pink ones that are really in season at the moment. I'm seeing them everywhere in all of the organic places that I've been to. But um, they don't look as good as the ones that I saw in Covent Garden. But they do smell good. So I bought four of them. Two of these amazing looking cucumbers. I don't think these were organic. But I bought them anyway. They look like this. I bought two of these. Don't they look hilarious? Very small lump of cheese. This is... I don't remember the name, it's, it's, it's got a very a foreign name that I can't pronounce. But I, it's, it's almost like a cross between a mozzarella, mmm, a mozzarella, and, but it's slightly a bit more mature, like flavoured. This is yummy, and I'm just going to eat it like I would mozzarella. Yum. Um, organic rocket for salad. Um, I love kale, and I discovered this new type of kale. This is organic kale, some form of kale. But, um, looks yummy. Lastly, you guys know I don't really eat that much bread, but there was organic bread there, so I thought, well, it's fresh, yeah. So, we're going to halve it, I think, with, um, my sister-in-law. So, here I have an organic pumpkin seed wholemeal. There you go. Yum! And I also brought a spelt oval, which I was particularly pleased about. It, all of that came well under 60 pounds. Let me check. All of that was about 50 pounds, actually. Pretty much 50 pounds exactly. And that will probably feed us for about, fingers crossed, a week. This is kind of like a halfway shop. Um, there's still obviously lots of foods and grains and uh, some frozen meats and stuff inside the freezer. So um, this will run us by. I'm just so annoyed about the eggs. But anyway, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you later. Bye.